Hey everyone, welcome back. It's What to Wear Wednesday. And I want to start today off with a quote from A Guide to Elegance. When a woman is trying on clothes, she almost always holds herself beautifully erect when standing in front of dressing room mirrors. If afterwards she hollows her chest and slumps her shoulders, she shouldn't be surprised to find that that dress does not look nearly as chic as it did when she was in the shop. So much of the way that we look and feel is directly related to posture. And now that it's a new year with a new slew of resolutions, we should add good posture to our list. The fashionable Tim Gunn actually dedicated an entire chapter of one of his books to posture, stating that no matter how spectacular the look is, if the body inside is lopsided, slumped, or otherwise hunched, there's no saving it. Too many people, both men and women alike, are walking around completely unaware that by making a few simple adjustments, they can look and feel immeasurably better. Now, I am no expert, no scientific expert, nor do I have any medical history, but I do know that good posture allows your clothes to hang better. It also eludes confidence. And as Tim Gunn also pointed out, a youthful, attractive silhouette should have very little to do with age. So what's wrong with looking younger, better, slimmer, taller, more graceful, and more confident? We just need to tweak a few things with our posture. So what exactly is good posture? Imagine yourself with a pole that goes straight down your body. Your chin is aligned with the floor, your shoulders are back, and your stomach is in. And if this is hard to visualize, do it the old-fashioned way. Grab a book, place it on top of your head, and walk across the room. Then pay attention to your pelvis. Your pelvis should tilt just slightly so your bottom isn't sticking out and your stomach is lifted and up. Janet Lane once wrote a book called Your Carriage, Madame, in which she suggests that in order to bring the pelvis into proper alignment, imagine slipping between two tables that are close together in a crowded restaurant. It's that movement of going between those tables that gets your pelvis into proper alignment. Now, some of you might feel that you have the perfect standing posture. It's when you sit down that things go totally awry. So what you wanna do is you want to check your posture by sitting on your hands. Your palms would be facing down. You'd put them under your sit bones. And then once seated, you adjust your weight so that it feels even on both of your hands. This is the optimal seating position. Then you wanna make sure that your thighs are parallel to the ground, your feet are flat on the ground, and they're slightly separated. And then the part that I struggle with is to make sure that you do not cross your ankles or your legs. So in 2019, I challenge you to stand up straight, put your shoulders back, tuck the pelvis, and lift up your chin. The results will be worth the effort. Thank you so much for listening today, and I look forward to seeing you next Wednesday.